Welcome to your weekly U.S. news update. This is the week of March 8, 2021. This week I got four topics for you. The first one is, well, you may have heard already, the FA regulation is getting pushed again, okay? And we'll talk about what happened, the new dates. We'll talk about UAS registration that uh, went down 50% between December and January. We'll talk about why that happened. We'll talk about Utah that is, again, proposing some crazy uh, drone regulation. Uh, Don't want to use another word right here. And then lastly, I'm going to give you guys an update on uh, me and Pilot Institute. So let's get to it. And the first thing this week is the new regulation is delayed again. And like I said the last time, Uh, This is, again, not really the FAA's fault per se or the DOT. This is something that the new administration put a a slowdown on new regulation being posted. So uh, if you remember, we went from March 1 to having the new test and and having the uh, the renewal online to March 16. And then now it's being pushed to April 6. So you're going to have to be patient a little bit more. So the first date is April 6. And if you're uh, going for your new exam, if you're if you're trying to get scheduled to become a remote pilot, uh, and then you've been in our course and you've been studying with the new regulation, unfortunately you're going to have to go back to the old regulation and study that uh, if you want to take the exam before March April 6 of 2021. The good news is the old regulation is actually a bit simpler, so that's not really too bad of an issue. Uh, you also don't have to study the portion that has the the night training, so that's a good thing. If you plan to take the exam on or after April 6th, then you're going to have to study with the new regulation. So follow the course. Uh, I left a lot of information in there. It's all updated already. Uh, the FA released that information yesterday, officially two days ago, but really it went live yesterday. Uh, the, the free online training, a lot of you have been asking about this. You want to get your uh, certificate renewed or your currency renewed, I should say. And uh, and you've been looking all over the place. And last week I mentioned that you can go on fasafety.gov just yet to find that training. It's still not there. It's not going to be there until April 6, 2021. So that's the new date that you need to put in your calendars. The In the meantime, if you are losing your currency, like me, I was going to lose my currency at the end of um, at the end of February, and um, and I decided to bite the bullet. And I'm kind of glad that I did because now all of this is going on. So with that being said, if you plan to operate your drone before April 6 of 2021, then you're going to have to uh, pay the testing center $160 and you're going to have to take the UGR, the Unmanned General Recurrent Exam, and then you'll be all set and good for two years. Now, a lot of people have emailed me and said, what happens if I took my exam not too long ago? Do I have to take another exam? Do I have to do all of this? Um, you don't really. If you've taken your exam before and you're still current for the next year or two years, then you're fine. The only thing is, if you want to fly at night after April 21st of 2021, this is a new date, April 21st of 2021 is when the regulation goes into place, then you need to take the online training from the FAA, which will be available on April 6th of 2021. So we're back. If you've been following this all these dates, we're back to having kind of a a two-week period where the training is going to be open and you won't be able to fly at night and then after April 20 on or after April 21 of 2021 then you'll be ready to go and go fly so um, just a lot of fun right Um, the new regulation as I mentioned the new regulation is hitting the books now on April 21 2021, which means that you can fly over people. If you have a category one drone that qualifies, which is very unlikely, but if you have a category one drone that qualifies and you want to fly over people, then uh, you're going to have to wait until April 21st, 2021, which is when the regulation goes live. And that regulation, uh, everything in the regulation that was basically released at the end of December and that was put in the books in January is going live on April 21st. I'm repeating all these dates on purpose, April 21st is important as <laughs> speechless as I'm sure the FAA employees I've, uh, I've I've talked to this with actually a few of my FAA contacts and uh, and they said you know we're going to be blamed for this when it's really the blame doesn't fall on them so please don't shoot the messenger the, the messenger being me or being the FAA in this case uh, that's not uh, not their fault so 
Um, I want to make sure that you guys understand this. If you take the exam before the new regulation starts, before the new regulation starts, before actually the new exam goes live, which is April 6 of 2021, then you don't have to do another exam unless you want to fly at night after April 21st. And you'll go on the FA website, you'll go and do the training and you'll be good to go. If you're not due for renewal and you don't want to fly at night, there's nothing you need to do except enjoy your drone and go fly out there and, uh, and not fly at night if that's uh, not what you're going to do. So not a big deal. Okay, next thing is um, FA registration was down 50%. And this is actually kind of a funny thing because um, I had done a presentation a couple, um, about a year ago, and I pulled a bunch of data and I updated it in December. And I went to pull the data in December and there was 1.7 million uh, drones registered total in the United States. And recently I went on that page, which is the page where there's uh, the total number of remote pilots. And, um, and I found when I was in there, I kind of did a double take and it said that there was 870 uh, drone registered. So we went from 1.7 million to 870, almost a 50%, actually a 50% cut. And, um, and I reached out to a couple people uh, in the industry and, and eventually somebody found the same thing that I did and wrote an article about it uh, on Aviation Week and um, and what turns out happened and this is kind of what I suspected is that the FAA put in place the registration requirement in 2018 in December of 2018 and the registration was valid for three years so everybody all of a sudden in December registered their drones and then three years later Either they forgot, either the drone is no longer in, um, in, in service, or they just don't want to register the new drones, and then now we have a big drop in registration. So uh, the FAA said that they were going to reach out uh, to, well, the public by doing announcements, and uh, this is my chance right here to let you guys know. If you registered a long time ago, back in December, I would recommend that you go back and you check and see if your registration has expired, and if it has, then make sure you renew it. It's good for three years. $5 FA drone zone that FA.gov. Don't go and get um, scammed by one of these websites that charge 50 or 60 bucks. Uh, this is either $5 per drone if you're registering under part 107, or it's $5 for you as the pilot if you're registering as a hobbyist. So, fun. The next fun thing is Utah. Utah is back, and not only Utah, but Mike Lee in Utah, uh, Senator Lee. Uh, is back with proposed drone regulation. And this is something that we mentioned uh, way back mm, two or three weeks ago. At least I keep losing track of time. And um, this time he's coming back and he basically wants to make all drones fly between 200 feet and 400 feet. 200 feet and 400 feet. And then he wants basically municipalities, local government to have control of the first 200 feet AGL um, above land. So he wants to put restrictions near schools, parks, roadways, bridges, other, any public or private properties, which means that you couldn't even fly your drone in your own backyard um, with this, uh, this kind of thing if your city decided that you can't do it. So. Um, our friends at the Drone Service Provider Alliance, Vic and Kenji, they're on it. Uh, they published an article. If you want to go on their website, I'm going to put a link down here. Uh, next week, we're going to, I've been talking to uh, Vic this week, and uh, they're still collecting data. It's still kind of unclear. They want to make sure that everything, they understand everything that's in there. And, um, and then next week, we'll bring them on the show if there is any new information available. And then, uh, and then hopefully, this just dies the same death that the other proposed bill uh, went through. So. Okay, the last thing is, uh, you may have noticed my voice is a little bit off and uh, I'm, I'm not myself. Uh, I, uh, I took my second vaccine shot uh, yesterday and it's hitting me pretty hard, but I have to record this so I can get it uh, out the window and, and get it published for you guys on Friday. So uh, if I sound weird, if I look weird, if I look like I've, I've, I just slept, that's probably because I just slept, uh, but I wanted to get this information out. Uh, that's not the update I wanted to talk about, but if you've noticed, um, I was approved to be a FAST team representat uh, representative and a drone pro with the Scottsdale FISDO, uh, Flight Standard District Office. Uh, no, I'm not working for the FAA. I'm still going to be doing the things that I do at Pilot Institute. This is a volunteer position like uh, hundreds, maybe even thousands of people across the country are doing with the FAA. 
And this is an opportunity for me to keep doing what I do with you guys on a regular basis, which is help educate drone pilots. So this will give me access to uh, the ability to do more seminar webinars with the FA and do other things. And, uh, and I'm really excited. This is actually something that I've been wanting to do for several years now. And, uh, and I just never had the time, quite frankly, to dedicate to doing it. And now that things are really settling down nicely at Pilot Institute, this is something that I wanted to do. So um, I'll be joining, like I said, a lot of other people that are doing this. No, I'm not an FA employee. No, I don't have a badge. I don't have the ability to give you a fine. Neither do I want to. Uh, my job is to help educate and spread the word on behalf of the FA. Um, and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm happy to do this. This is something that uh, I think we all need to do on uh, even if you do it on your own and you help educate people, you hear me say this all the time, send this message of trying to educate other people to make sure they, they, they fly safely. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, you'll see more of this in the future um, and, um, and we'll keep doing what we do at Pilot Institute in the meantime, which is uh, really exciting. So, all right, that's all I have. I'm gonna go record the airplane. If you wanna hear about uh, just a bunch of airplane things this week, go head out to our airplane channel and I've uh, got three topics there. And uh, that's it for now. Hopefully next week I'm uh, back to 100%. So see you next week.